Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The media aid to the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate Paul Ibe and the PDP youth leader Timothy Osadolo have accused the All Progressive Congress APC of abandoning President Bola Tinubu over his controversial academic records. Record that the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar had approached a U.S. court for the Northern District of Illinois in Chicago for an order compelling Chicago State University to release the academic records of Tinubu. Tinubu's credentials shows that he graduated from Chicago State University in 1979 with a bachelor's degree in business administration, accounting, and management. However, there have been challenges bordering on discrepancies with Tinubu's certificates. In the suit filed before the U.S. District Court, Abubakar prayed that the court should subpoena Tinubu's files to be slide with Chicago State University. Abubakar said the files will settle the controversy surrounding Tinubu's academic background and aid the election petition tribunal. But Tinubu had claimed that a clerical error was responsible for discrepancies on the certificates issued to him by the university. According to filings by Oluwale, Falabi, and Christopher, Tidubu's lawyers, an unidentified university clerk made the error about the date the school stated on his recently issued certificate, hereby creating the appearances of differences. Speaking on the case before a court, a U.S. court, the director of publicity for the APC, Bola Ibra Bala Ibrahim, disclosed that the ruling party had no problem with the PDP candidate's request if he followed the due process. He said, if Chicago State University says article has to go to court, I don't know what they are law says about that but in nigeria i know the law gives freedom of information and gives people the right to seek information especially the one that has to be in the public domain i don't know the situation in the u.s and what is legally correct about it but article has the right to ask for information pertaining to his opponent provided he does not go through it the wrong way. What is the wrong way can best be answered by those who are conversant with the law. But in an interview with The Punch, Paul Ibe said, the opposition of APC shows that it has abandoned Tinubu due to the many controversies surrounding him. Ibe said, we are not surprised though. That the party said they cannot have issues with us. This is an indication that they have abandoned him. We are talking of a man whose identity is emerged in controversy. But the truth is, who wasn't be tired? Who won't be tired? Okay. Everything about the man is is trained in controversy. He claimed that he attended government college, Ibadan, but he never stepped foot in that school. The primary school Tinubu claimed he attended is non in existence. Now, he is saying that the 159 year old Chicago State University made a clerical error in his academic records. If you are carrying a certificate with an error, that certificate is fake. So he's admitting that he is carrying a fake certificate on his part. 
a member of the PDP's National Executive Committee, Osad Dolor, said the APC Director of Public City should be commended for its position. He knows the truth, but he does not want to be quoted. Their principal's academic records are shrunk in mystery, and he knows the truth, but because it's not convenient for him to, to, to stay on the side of the truth, he chose to say he won't join issues with article he said. So guys, matter don't turn wahala be this. But the, 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 there is something that is really very confusing. With all these things that are happening, you go surprise, say, last, last. <laughs> the court go even tell you, say, the, the, the results, they okay. If you said there are mistakes in your certificates, that means something is wrong with the certificates. Because I see no reason why your school should be issuing a, a certificate with errors. It's not done anywhere. So if there is issues with the certificates, that means there is a problem. So first of all, the president have to deal with that problem first. It, 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 the matter get as it be, be like waiting small picking the talk. He said now the cleric. And the clerk is even the clerk is even talking about. He said on on name clerk. He doesn't even know the clerk. You understand? They don't even know the clerk. So they can't even trace the clerk that make up made all these, you know, all these uh, mistakes and all that. So it's not led for the school. To tell the world what actually went wrong with President Bola Maitinobu's certificate. So the ball is now in the court of the Chicago State University. Did President Bola Maitinobu actually attend their school or not? So, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.